concrete and cover. All right, so cover is, as we said, it's the distance between the face of the object and the nearest rebar, or the gap that we would prefer to have between the edge of the rebar and the edge of the concrete, so that the concrete doesn't break or crack or remove itself, right? So here under the structures tab, uh, under reinforcement, we click on the little down arrow, and here we have the rebar settings. And these rebar settings are local to your current model. Um, in this particular list, you will see I have all the different sizes that I want to have in here. Um, you can simply add or remove. Um, pick in the add and delete button here or duplicating one of those settings. And essentially what you do is you hit OK. And the list of those covers is now available on all the different objects for choosing. So for example, if I was to select the slab, you can see I have a top face cover, a bottom face cover, and all the other faces around this lab that you can control the cover on. Um, but if I go and look at a column, for example, <clears throat> a column only has the option to change the cover on um, the other faces. In other words, all the faces of a concrete column are covered by the same setting. So you can see I can just choose the different setting from the drop down list based on my settings that I had before, and everything changes. For um, a concrete beam, for example, it's different again because here we have a bottom face cover and other faces. So you can see the different elements that we have inside the object um, give us a different result. Now, you know, you can see in this case where I do have some rebar placed, <clears throat> if I select the element and change the cover to say 50 millimeters and hit apply, you can see the rebar itself moves from uh, what was 25 mil cover to now 50 mil cover. Um, in columns in particular, it's quite interesting because you actually might want to, or even in beams or slabs or whatever, any concrete element, you may want to change the cover based on the face of an object. So there is another option in here to come and select the cover. Again, coming into the structures tab, press the cover option. Um, Obviously, um, and I get two selection options here. One is picked by elements and the other one is picked by face. Now obviously, and you can see the green line has appeared here showing us the cover um, of the object itself. Um, I think if we pan over here, you can see the cover in a bit more detail, right? But essentially what we can do is, obviously by element, when I select it, you can see I get the same options to select the cover. The interesting part here though is if we choose this option and choose it by face, which means that I can actually select an individual face and change the cover per face um, and you know set different size cover on all the different faces of my concrete element, giving us greater control over the cover itself.